what we will be doing today boys and girls welcome back to part two right if you guys haven't seen the uh the first reveal make sure you guys check that out but this is going to be the second reveal of slabs these slabs are from my buddy fox 808 this is going to be your time your opportunity and your chance if you're interested in getting slabs and you know you've always worried about dealing with people on ebay dealing with people on facebook dealing with people on instagram right this is going to be your chance to be able to you know purchase Slabs and things with certainties. Purchase with, you know, confidence, I guess you can say. All right, Fox808 is a member of the community here that I know physically if you're from Hawaii. And he's given us some more slabs to take a look at, as well as we have the pricings for them as well. He's actually selling these slabs. So if you are interested, you can hop into the Discord. And there's going to be a tab called Island Sales. In there, you'll see our previous yeah, PSA, uh, uh, PSA slab reveals, as well as the prices for those slabs. Now, some of them have actually already sold. But all you got to do is you'll click on Fox808's name. You'll send him a message. Tell him what your Twitch name is. Okay? And tell them that what you're interested in which slab and that's it right you'll work with him and you can purchase slabs directly from him okay anyways and we're gonna be looking through these slabs here and I got the prices of these slabs as well here in a sheet so without further ado let's uh let's begin okay there's a nice mix of all sorts of cards we got vintage classic EX era Wizards of the Coast era a lot of different eras of cards and this is probably gonna be part two of maybe three or even four different slab reveals as well as you know opportunities for you guys to purchase first slab we have is an EX era slab this is a Kabutops EX <clears throat> yeah from EX Sandstorm as you can see PSA 10 all right this card is going to be a $500 card now keep in mind right these prices will also uh, factor in shipping unless you're international international you're gonna have to talk to Fox right and uh, you guys can you know work it out right but if you're here in the US the price will also factor in shipping as well okay slab number two is also an EX this is a Lapras EX right from Ruby Sapphire oh, I can just look at the top Ruby and Sapphire right EX Ruby Sapphire PSA 9 Lapras 200 right wow i got some people interested in the lapras lapras is going to be priced at 200 boys and girls my bad the venusaur here psa 9 is going to be priced at 350 yeah 350 for this venusaur here next slab is going to be another ex it is a metagross ex yeah this is going to be from power keepers ex power keepers psa 9 this metagross psa 9 is going to be 150 150 for this metagross ex shining lugia Right, this was uh, a little bit more modern, maybe in the last couple of years. Yeah, uh, 2017, PSA 9, Shining Lugia. This was actually a promo, but this Shining Lugia, people really liked that they brought back the idea of Shinings, right? Like uh, the Shinings from Neo Destiny, the Shinings from Neo Revelations, right? Shining Magikarp, Shining Gyarados, Shining Charizard, Shining Mewtwo, Shining Noctile, Shining Celebi, Shining Tyranitar, right? And they brought that kind of holographic pattern back with a lot of these uh, Pokemon in uh, this set here. Right, which I think was awesome. Yeah, Shining Legends. All right, was the name of the set. This PSA 9, though, is going to be $200 for this PSA 9. Shining Lugia. All right, next one. Another Shining. This one's going to be a cool one. Obviously, will be cheaper because this is going to be a PSA 7 Shining Lugia. Yeah, but this PSA 7 is going to be a very fun price of $77.77. $77.77. Next up is the PSA 8. Jungle Flareon, right? Unlimited PSA 8 Jungle Flareon. Probably one of the most iconic Flareon arts. This Flareon is going to be 95 If you're interested in this Flareon, this will be a $95 slab. Next up, we got a Dark Gyarados. This will be a PSA 10. This is a Gem Mint PSA 10. Very solid PSA 10 Dark Gyarados. This Dark Gyarados is going to be 300 Is going to be this uh, the price of this Dark Gyarados here. Rockets Moltres. Now, this is actually a first edition Rockets Moltres here from Jim Heroes. PSA 8 First Edition Rockets Moltres. This Moltres is going to be PSA 8 will be 180. If you're interested in this PSA 8 Rockets Moltres. Next up, a First Edition Neo Revelations Blissey PSA 9. All right, this Blissey is going to be 350 for this PSA 9 Blissey. Next up is a Jump Bluff. All right, with a beautiful swirl up here if you can see it. Right there, look at that. Look at that swirl right there. Yeah, very, very unique art. It's an unlimited Neo Revelations PSA 9 Jump Bluff. This one might be a big steal. Oh, this one, is this one very uh, very well priced? PSA 9 Neo Re Revelations Jump Bluff. Oh, $100. All right, up next is a big boy. It is a Dark Scissor. <clears throat> yeah, Neo Destiny Dark Scissor. 
PSA 10. Dark Scissor here is going to be $800 for this Dark Scissors. That's actually pretty uh, fairly priced. All right, another Neo Destiny card. This is the Light Azumarill. All right, this one, you guys might start collecting these. This is a PSA 10 as well. <laughs> I don't know if you want to go down this rabbit hole though. This one is going to be $500. Uh, next up here is a Miracle Energy. Uh, Neo Destiny Miracle Energy. I believe it's the only hollow, yeah, ener uh, hollow trainer or energy. Right, or a, you know, non-Pokemon card from Neo Destiny is this Miracle Energy. We also pulled this from my first edition heavy Neo Destiny pack, right? We did do a video on that as well. If you guys didn't see that, this is a PSA 10 Miracle Energy. This one is gonna be 350. Yeah, this one is gonna be 350 here. Flash Fire Charizard EX. Look at this, man. All right, this is actually the secret rare of the set. This one is gonna be a big boy. Yeah, this is actually a big boy card. It is a PSA 10, right? This card is listed at $2,000. This is a big boy card. An Evolutions Charizard. I just talked about Evolutions Charizard. It's a PSA 9, all right? PSA 9, Evolutions Charizard. Evolutions Charizard, you guess it's 300, Justin? This card is $200 for this card here. Including Shuffy, by the way. Here we go. Another Charizard here from Burning Shadows. Biggest chase card from the set. People really love this card here. Look at this. PSA 9, Secret Rare, Charizard GX from Burning Shadows. This one is going to be $555.55. Very fun price and a very, actually a very good price too. Electrode, Reverse Hollow from Aquapolis. Electrode PSA 10. This one is going to be, wow, 250 bucks. 250 bucks, it's only a pop nine. There's only nine of these cards out there. Rabidash, Reverse Hollow from Aquapolis. PSA 10. Yeah, this one is going to be 250. This is also a low population card. This is a pop 13. Next up is a PSA 9. Aquapolis Slowbro. Got a little magic card action here as well. Reverse hollow. PSA 9 Slowbro from Aquapolis. This one is going to be 150. Right? Population of 17, if you're interested as well. Next up is the Slow King. We got a PSA 10. Aquapolis Slow King. People love this one. 400. Yeah, pop seven. All right, there's only actually seven of these reverse hollow Slow Kings out there. Arcanine, PSA 10, Sky Ridge, reverse hollow. 350. Oh, wow, for an Arcanine? 350 for reverse hollow Sky Ridge. Reverse hollow muck. Uh, legendary collection. Uh, this one here is a PSA 8. Legendary collection. Uh, this one is 150. If you're interested in this reverse hollow, a Dialga from Phantom Forces. PSA 9. All right, this is the silver card that we were chasing. This card here is 400 at a PSA 9. How about a Shadowless Gyarados, baby? All right, base set Shadowless Gyarados. PSA 9. Oh, yeah. This Gyarados is going to be 375 for a Shadowless PSA 9 Gyarados. How about a Charizard? Now, this is going to be from the theme deck. As you can see, it's a non hollow, right? It's a non hollow from Legendary Collection. So, yeah, it's a PSA 9 non hollow Legendary Collection Charizard. This card here is 300. Yeah, and a PSA 9 for this Legendary Collection Charizard. Next up, we got a couple more. Oh, we got some package deals, it says. Package deal offers, all right. I'm gonna bring in Fox808, right, to talk to you guys a little bit and uh, talk about these package deals. So this well, this one is gonna include a <laughs> a pair of cards. Okay. Uh, I figured that some people might be interested in getting some, you know, evolution lines. So in the this one and upcoming <laughs> deals, we'll have the uh, cards together and so uh, basically, what uh, Fox is trying to say is that uh, you can get a Rhyhorn, Reverse Hollow, from Legendary Collections, and you can get a Ride on These Nuts, Reverse Hollow, from Legendary Collections, PSA 9. All right, buy it to meme yourself, buy it to meme your friends, I guess. Uh, that's that's the only reason you package deal this. Like, that's the only thing. <laughs> that's the only reason, reason I could see you package deal. Like, who the heck package deals a Rhyhorn Ride on? You know what I mean? I guess it's Legendary Collections, so it's kind of cool. Okay, PSA 9. So what's this one going for? 150. What? <laughs> Okay, that's actually a pretty good price. All right, 150. That's not actually too far off from the raw card prices for this set. The raw card prices are very ex expensive for reverses for Legend Collection. Trust me, I know. 
Uh, seriously, I know. Yeah, uh, so Rhyhorn and Rhydon. PSA 9s, Legend Collection, Reverse Foil. All right, 150. Okay, oh, so we got Rockets Hitmonchan, PSA 9. We got Ro Rockets Moltres, PSA 9. We got Rockets Scyther. Okay, PSA 9. And we got Rocket Zapdos, PSA 9. Okay, so you got all the Rockets. So I would right. love for these four cards to go together, okay. and you that's sell why... Together. Okay, and I don't, right I can't now, see the prices on these, so... Right now, I'm going to ex actually accept offers on this. Oh, okay, so... I'll be the first to offer, uh, one dollar. Did I win? Well, I mean, that's the best offer I got so far. Perfect! <laughs> I got a dollar right here inside my drawer, buddy. There we go. Thank you very much. Appreciate it very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. We got a very, very, very cool card. Now, this card might look very simple. Might look just like a trainer to you guys, but for, to the eyes of a person that has been collecting, this is actually a pretty nice card. Pretty hype card as well. All right? This is, as you can see, a world's promo. But I'll go ahead and let Fox tell you guys a little bit more about this specific card here. Go ahead. Okay, so uh, World has actually been held in Hawaii uh, three times, in 2007, 2010, and 2012. In uh, 07, I decided to try to play in the LCQ, uh, and in 2012, uh, I had uh, been part of, uh, I guess, run helping run the Pokemon Center store that uh, they have at World. In 2010, I decided to head up there, head over to the Big Island, and uh, just volunteer at the event rather than actually uh play or i wasn't even part of solicited staff um and a, a lot of the people actually knew me from uh, meeting them in previous years and previous uh nationals at the at the time so uh, they actually uh gave me some s staff swag which is where this uh world's 2010 staff promo came from um, and there aren't many graded with BGS. There's a lot with PSA, but I haven't seen any with BGS. And the unfortunate thing is with some promo cards, it's nearly impossible to check the population report on the, uh, the promo cards. Uh, it, for example, if you guys remember the black label Rayquaza from last time, mm -hmm. you can't, you can look it up, but you can't get a population report unless BGS fixed their system. That's crazy. Yeah, so this is cool. This is a staff promo. Did they have regular ones too? For the for yes. participants, right? Participants that were participating and won. Yeah, that won, they would uh they would get uh these cards as well, right? But this is just a staff version from that event, correct? There's actually multiple variants of each card, especially as the, the events have gone by. If I'm not mistaken, competitors got non-stamped versions of not eight or nine languages. Uh mm -hmm. so English, Japanese, uh Spanish, Italian. Uh, and I can't remember most of the other languages, uh, but all the mo majority of the major languages that po uh, Pokemon is played in internationally. Uh, staff obviously obviously got a staff version. And then there's the top 32, top 16, uh, top eight, top four uh, finalist, and the champion promos. Wow! So you got this physically when you were there, right? For right. attending the event in 2010. That's awesome. Yep. I hope they do another Worlds in uh, Hawaii. I mean, I don't know when they're going to choose that again, but that'd be sick. This one's actually uh, pretty well graded too, a 9.9, uh, 9, but it's a very strong 9 because it's actually only point off, point 0.5 away from a 9.5. So that's pretty yeah. good, especially for BGS. They're very, very strict. I, mean, uh, I guess you could let everybody know what uh, what price point you had on this card here. Okay, so when, when I initially got this graded uh, and sh shown it on socials, uh, some people have reached out to me to, uh, with some offers and I at the time I was kind of hesitant on letting it go but the reason why I'm actually letting go some people are asking in chat is because for for a lot of my cards I've had them for a while and I kind of want to make space for newer things because obviously I'm still collecting stuff like full art trainers alt arts and uh, stuff here and there but I can't collect everything at Pokemon because that would just take too much of space for me yeah. and this card and a lot of other cards you know like the pop one uh blissey or the black label charizard you know or if you look at my instagram you know <laughs> a psa 10 gold star Rayquaza, latios latias mm -hmm. uh and then all the shinings um i've taken pictures of the pictures of them you know you've enjoyed them you know i've, I've yeah i've had the cards and you know i have i have memories that i can just look back on the pictures so i don't necessarily need to keep the card and i, I think that that's something where a lot of collectors should kind of think about where 
you know, it's good to have a theme of what you're collecting and, uh, you know, you ha you'll have your memories of the cards, but sometimes it's good to share the memories with other people. And like a card like this, I'm pretty sure there's someone out there that's going to be really appreciative. This might be something that's like super missing in their collection. Mm -hmm. So you never know. And there's a story behind the card too. So these are definitely like yeah. truly story story cards. So it's, it's, it's nice. It's really really nice right you can people you can actually tell people where this card came from whereas you know some of these other cards right like rockets moltres it's a cool card you can talk about the cool art the artist you know the sets right but on what the, the the different thing or the more unique thing is you can talk about the event or the history of this specific card and i think that's very very different for these staff cards and even trophy cards that um pokemon releases in japanese and in english super super cool yep and uh for those that are uh asking uh price on this card uh is two thousand dollars and did some price. research and that's actually right around where a psa 9 i think it's actually cheaper than one of the previous psa 9s have sold for yeah I, I can, in do. my head if i if i had to like guess the value of this uh, especially at being a strong bgs 9 i, I would have thought that it'd be at least three four thousand so yeah. yeah okay that's pretty uh that's pretty solid it's actually a really really good price uh for this card here all right that's final cool. card is a first edition Blastoise. Gotta finish it off with a banger. First edition. BGS 7. Blastoise. Obviously not like a 10 or anything, but it's a BGS 7. Now, it's a pretty interesting one because centering is 9, edges are 7, corners are 6.5, and surface is 7.5. Alright, what is this Blastoise going for that you're letting go here? Uh, I've got it listed at 1600. That seems pretty fair. That's actually really fair. Um, but, yeah, hopefully uh, someone finds a good home for this all right fox anyways i appreciate you letting us you know take a look at some of the cards here again if you guys are interested get into the discord island sales section fox will also be posting the official full list with the prices as well and maybe some updates if any of them actually already are going to be sold and you guys are gonna be able to purchase these cards directly with him through discord all right so buy with confidence and you know i hope you guys get some cool cards you know add some cool things to your collection as well fox appreciate you joining in man any last words or things you wanted to uh talk about go ahead oh uh, thank you for having me again and again like I said last time, keep the uh, vibes positive, you know, good vibes, great community, positivity, you know, all these things uh, kind of keep everybody together and uh, look forward to even more slabs because I keep knocking over slabs here. I need to start getting rid of He has somebody. a mountain. Yeah, he has a mountain of slabs, boys and girls. Like, would you say we're probably with the first uh, show, show and tell, I'm going to call it, and this one here, we're probably maybe a third the way, a third to a half of the way of your slabs, maybe about a third. Uh, definitely not half. Uh, I can actually, t let's see, roughly one-fourth. One-fourth. The two times you guys have seen it so far, that's only one-fourth of the slabs that Fox does have. So, again, if you're interested, go ahead and check them out. All right, we'll probably continue to do these, um, I don't know about every single week, but at the very least, probably every other week. Right, we'll continue these kind of going through the cards, enjoying the cards, talking about them, showing you guys some cool cards as well. Some of you guys, you know, might have not seen before. Whether you're going to get the cards or whether you're just learning more about the cards, I think it's going to be super cool. So, appreciate you joining today, Fox, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Yeah, definitely. All right, peace.